a lot has changed from the earthquakes. You know, we, we fully accept that, we acknowledge that. Um, you know, even just walking around town, you know, you had this feeling of, you know, there were buildings around you, you had a feeling of a city, there was lots of people around, that kind of thing. That feeling is a lot different now. There are elements of the central city which um, have left rather a large gap until we know exactly what's coming and I guess the convention centre site is the biggest one of those. There are other elements of the um, central city where, where the land has been acquired quite early um, and, and I guess the stadium site would be um, that in that category uh, and you know one wonders whether some more temporary activation in those areas couldn't be a, a worthwhile activity in the meantime before things get underway. So I think it will be a vibrant, exciting place, but I do think that's probably about five years still away before it's near finished, because although there is a lot going on, there's still quite a few empty plots, um, so there's a lot still to do too. You know, Christchurch was always considered a very conservative town. Um, now, you know, arms are wide open. You know, we've got things like the street festival, the street art festival, sorry. Um, you know, we've got the noodle night markets coming. That kind of thing was never seen in Christchurch before. And, you know, we're becoming this massive hub of creativity and culture.